His face has been in the media for years, but very few people actually know anything about Omar Carter. And now that the convicted terrorist is a free man, he says he intends to prove people wrong, including the prime minister. The Harper government has always opposed Carter's release from prison, and that line has not changed. Though, as Reid Feist reports, others believe Carter deserves a chance at redemption. Omar Cotter grew up behind bars, a prisoner for nearly 13 years, now a free man at this suburban Edmonton home. What a difference a day makes. And when he emerged, Canadians heard from a young man most only knew as a name. I would like uh, to thank the Canadian public for uh, trusting me and uh, giving me a chance. Um, it might be uh, sometimes, but uh, I will prove to them that uh, I'm more than uh, what they thought of me. He apologized for killing and injuring American soldiers, questioned why his late father put him in that position as a 15-year-old, but was composed, confident, and well-spoken in front of a wall of media. There's nothing I can do about the past, but I hope that the future can, uh, I can do something about the future. Welcome. welcome. You're very welcome. welcome in our neighborhood. His neighbors, the first to greet Cotter home. Oh, I yelled, uh, welcome to our neighborhood. Prime Minister Stephen Harper with little to say about Cotter's release. The government not pleased bail was granted. Our government's priority in these matters is always to make sure, first and foremost, uh, we keep in mind the protection and security of the Canadian population. Well, I'm going to have to disappoint him. I'm, I'm better than the person he thinks I am. Cotter's release polarizing Canadians. It's hard to have, like say form an opinion because I think we haven't got the whole story is the way I kind of feel a little bit. I'm okay with it. I think they're going to keep a good eye on him so I don't think people should worry. An Edmonton professor who mentored Cotter in prison agrees saying he believes Cotter's state of mind is healthy. Prisons often drive people mad but it also for some for a few on rare occasions it got, does give them a place of solitude a place where they can truly examine themselves. And I think he turned his I think he turned his mind and his heart to that. As Cotter begins his new life, he's hoping for a clean slate from Canadians. I would ask them, you know, uh, to give me a chance. Um, and they will be surprised. Cotter's release comes with a number of conditions, including electronic monitoring and a curfew. His communication online, on the phone, and in person will also all be monitored but he maintains he will cause no problems. Donna? All right, Reed Feist, thank you.